Get a hand call. A teenager arrested after buying a belt of Barney's. He says he was racially profiled. And good evening again at 5.30. I'm Diana Williams. And I'm Shade Benoit. The team paid for the belt, then left the high-end store. But moments after leaving Barney's, he says police slapped handcuffs on him. I would just use reporter Drake Clark spoke to him. He's at the store on the Upper East Side with the story all new at 5. Dre? Shade and Diana, Barney says its doors are open to everyone. No discrimination here. But a Queens teenager says he believes he was racially profiled when he came here to the store in April, and that led to his arrest. Now he's turning his anger into action by filing a lawsuit. Very embarrassing. Very. 19-year-old Trayon Christian says he had the right color money but the wrong color skin when he went shopping at this Barney store on the Upper East Side. Trayon bought a $350 Ferragamo belt with his debit card, a transaction that was approved and signed. But Trayon says after he left the store, two undercover NYPD detectives stopped him a block away. Undercover cops on the left side that had regular clothes on stopped me from the, the left side and asked me like, oh, I just got a call from Barney saying your card is not real. Trayon says he told the detectives the card was real and he had a receipt proving his purchase. Trayon says he was handcuffed and taken to the 19th precinct where he claims he was held for two hours and then released. They was like, I'm sorry about everything that happened and your card is real. He was traumatized behind that. It was very upsetting. Trayon's family is now suing both Barney's and the NYPD seeking unspecified damages. In a statement to Eyewitness News, Barney says, quote, Barney's New York typically does not comment on pending litigation. In this instance, we feel compelled to note that after carefully reviewing the incident of last April, it is clear that no employee of Barney's New York was involved in the pursuit of any action with the individual other than the sale. We also received a statement from the NYPD today. They say the incident which occurred here last April is now under internal review. As for that $350 Ferragamo belt, Trayon says he worked a part-time job and saved a long time to buy the belt, but he returned it after that alleged incident, and he says he will never shop at Barney's again. Going to the bank and being able to take out $100,000 and leaving quite a bit of money in there as well, just because you can, just because you want to. There's nothing fake about this stuff, guys. This is as real as it gets. I want to be able to help you guys do this exact same thing, invest in silver, foreign currency, be able to take out cash, $20,000 cash to, make, to go out and have a, a nice vacation. Don't take this as bragging. Just take this as proof for the people who uh, are naysayers and don't believe that it's real. Maybe people are looking at the industry, but they don't understand it. They don't know how it works. They're skeptical. They think it's too good to be true. And I'm here to tell you this is by far the easiest, best, most money I've ever made in my entire life. I make more in a, in a week than most people make in an entire year. So now what I want you to do is just get plugged in. Get started right now.